Customizing Inventor Studio, rendering your designs your way. Hello, my name is Rusty Belcher, and I'm an application engineer working with Avatex Solutions, and I'll be covering this Inventor Studio tech tip for you today. Your 3D design is finished, and you need to create a great picture for the marketing team or a presentation. Creating a real prototype and carrying it down to the local photo studio is not an option this early in the design cycle. You really need to leverage your 3D digital model to create this image. When it comes to rendering images, Autodesk offers many great options, but your design is in Inventor and you really don't want to spend a lot of time or money on this image. Autodesk Inventor offers photorealistic rendering in the Inventor Studio environment. Well, you try the render command and you think the image looks really good, but you're missing that professional environment used by the photo studio down the street. How can we customize Inventor Studio to replicate a real studio setting? This tech tip will focus on creating your own custom Inventor Studio assembly where you control the entire environment, including walls, lights, and cameras. This studio assembly will be used as a standard template for future renderings. Having a basic studio already set up will greatly reduce the time necessary to create quality images. Let's look at the process for creating your own Inventor Studio. A studio is a room containing everything an artist needs to create works of art. You can create the rendering studio of your dreams as an Inventor assembly. The first thing you want to create is a simple walled room with a floor and an open ceiling. Create each wall as a separate assembly or component. You may need larger or smaller rooms in the future, and we want the room design to be as flexible as possible. You can model as much detail as you like. In this case, the more detail, the better. I've opened my Inventor application. Now for this example, I need to do some rendering work and I don't want to start the render from a completely empty file. Just like any application, it always helps if you have a preset template. If you use a template, you can save yourself a load of time. Now when I have to do rendering work, I usually use my studio assembly. This is a preset template or a standard room that I use for my renderings. The assembly consists of walls and a floor, even windows and a door if I need them. I actually have a third wall in the assembly that's ready to go if I need it. The next thing you want to add to your studio set are ceiling mounts and targets for your lights. This is just an array of simple shapes used to create light locations and light targets. You want to remember that multiple lights really make a rendering look more realistic. You can turn off the visibility of these light locations and targets in the final assembly. Back in the studio assembly, I'm going to activate the visibility of my lighting rack and my light targets. This is just simple geometry I added to the assembly to help me place the lights in Inventor Studio. I'm going to jump into the Inventor Studio environment so you can see the lights in this assembly. When you create a light, you get to use your pre-existing geometry to establish the target and position of the light. You'll finish off your custom studio by adding various props that you typically see in the finished image. Model things like a workbench, forklift, or furniture that's normal for the setting. Many prop type models are available online and can easily be downloaded into your growing prop library. Back in Inventor, you can see that I've already added a few props to the Inventor Studio set. I added a folding chair, a file cabinet, a desk, and even a folding table. Now I downloaded a lot of these models from online Inventor sites. As you collect props to use in your Inventor Studio, you want to be careful that you save them in an organized manner, and they need to be readily available for Inventor Studio. I'm going to place a component and as I do, I'm going to go to my Inventor library. In my library, I have a place for all of my office equipment. I have things like cabinets, computers, desks, and filing cabinets. I'm going to go in. I have two chairs here. I'm going to bring in one of my folding chairs. 
I'll drop it off to the side and select Done. Now you can see here that I've added an iMate to the chair so that it's easy to place. I simply use the Alt button and drag the chair into the assembly. Now it's constrained on the floor, ready to go. Now we're ready to create our final image. To create the image, we simply place our design into the studio assembly and render away. We save the file containing the studio and our design as a new assembly for future reference. Back in Inventor, I've added one of my motorcycle designs to our Inventor Studio set. Now to generate the rendered image, all we have to do is activate Inventor Studio. Everything's set up and ready to go. I'm going to render the image, and for this example, I'm going to render the active view. I'll click Render and start the process of analyzing and rendering our design. Here you see the finished rendered image. There are many changes and tweaks that can be made to the Inventor Studio environment. Here are a few things to keep in mind. Space. The room you create needs to accommodate the size of your general designs. Simply put, large designs require large rooms, so think ahead. Soft shadows. Soft shadows look realistic, but require more computer processing, so don't overdo it. Background. Choose a common background appropriate for the studio set. You can use your own photos for the background image if necessary. Realism. When you're modeling the room and props, try to be as realistic as possible. If your surroundings are realistic, your final image will be realistic. Time. Rendering is a task that never seems to end. There is always some little tweak to make the image look better. Make sure you have someone to tell you when the image looks good enough, and even when you're finished with the project. Props Library. Over time, you will develop many props for your images. Make sure to store them in a library for easy access. Few companies have the time or budget to hire a professional photography studio to produce marketing images, especially early in a design cycle. Designers are now commonly required to produce quality images for marketing and presentations. With the preset Inventor Studio environment, and a supporting props library, designers can create quality images with a fraction of the time and expense. Thanks for taking the time to sit through this Inventor Studio tech tip with me. Again, my name is Rusty Belcher, and this tech tip was provided to you by Avatex Solutions. If you'd like to take a look at more tech tips, please check avatexsolutions.com.